Here are the eight lights hanging. It is a mess right now, as you can see. <laughs> They're all angling all which ways and wires and yeah, um, once I'm all done with tidying it all up, I'll actually take the little level and get them so they're all perfect. Uh, measure them all out so they're even, things like that. Um, we're probably going to end up going through a bunch of electrical tape and taping the wires to the poles. I know it's going to take a while and a lot of tape, but I don't know how else to hide all of it because it'll look pretty nasty. Um, if I would have had all black wire, that'd be cool, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted four four colors to keep track of my uh, my four channels, and the lights are two channels, two wires per channel. Um, that way I can tie them all in at the end. If they were all black, I would have had to put marks on the ends or something like that. Um, but there they are. I do have one that is wired in correctly, and that's the very first one I did. Um, that one right there needs to be pulled out and it gets to be redone. Um, I knew I had an issue with that one, um, but I couldn't really figure it out when I was at the shop until I actually hook, hooking it up. Um, the wires on the inside are all the exact same color and you don't know what the hell one's which. And I got, got two of them reversed, so that one when it's plugged in messes up that whole side. Um, them four are together and these four are together. Um, eventually I want it to be each row is separate so the two will be together, then two will be together and so on. And then in the morning the first ones will come on they'll be blue and then it'll kind of move its way over and move its way over and move its way over to the end so it's like a, a sunrise. And then at the end of the day, it'd just be the opposite. That would be the first side to go out, and it would slowly work its way. Um, so that is in the future, but right now I just have half and half, so I still kind of get somewhat, because the left side will come on first. And as the day goes on, they'll build up intensity and get brighter. They'll reach a peak, they'll stay there for several hours, and then they'll gradually slow back down. And being I can control the whites and the blue channels separately, I can make them look more blue or more white, depending on how I set it. So like in the morning and at night, it's going to look more blue. Then in the middle of the day, you'll see a lot more, more white. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, but I have this one hooked up at the moment. Um, it's as low as it goes. It's pretty much 100% dimmed. Um, the fan doesn't even kick on. Um, it's the only one hooked up because I have a little power problem. I have 16 power cords I need to get plugged in. Um, and I just don't have that possibility at the moment this morning. Um, that'll be another another job. I need to keep the whites and the blue separate. And I also need to keep the left side and the right side separate. So I'm going to need a lot of extension cords and a few power strips to do that. Uh, but just for testing purposes, I hooked up one light on each side. Um, that is as dim as it goes. I don't know how the phone's going to work very well. But I can go down to my tablet here. And we got variable speed. And the blue channel, white channel, I think is labeled wrong anyways. We're actually going to be using 3 and 4 because that's the right side. And when I turn them on... It's just going to go to 100% and then they'll just go full brightness. Um, to actually get the ramping up and down I'd have to make a graph and I don't feel like doing that right now. But let's see if we can see it brighten up. Focus. And see now I just turned the hit the blues. They're at 100% now. They just brightened up. Fan came on. And then the uh, channel 4, which would be the whites. Boom, and them came on now, which the camera I can't really see all that well. And we can turn the blues back off so they're at their lowest. And then we just got whites. Blues are very dim. And our whites back down to zero again, and that's as low as they go. 
um, they actually have them turn on and off completely. I have to run the wires down to the basement to where the apex controller is, and that will actually switch the outlet on and off. Um, so in its current state, I need to use four outlets on there to turn these on and off, um, with a total of 16 power cords. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, from the end here, they really don't sag that bad. They sag eh, roughly about an inch. So all as I did was bend the end up a good inch. And then when you put the lights on there, it kind of made up for the, the upward bending that I did. So they're all they're all pretty level now. Um, I raised them way up. They're about 36 inches off the stand. Um, 36, 36 and a half, somewhere around there. Um, and the tank is 24 tall. So we have about 12 inches between the lights and the top of the tank. Um, I got a big job with these wires. I can't wait. But there's a few of them. And then we go down. You can kind of see some of my my fun uh, wiring job I got going on here. All I did was use some uh, number 10 screws there, machine screws. Um, I have a washer on the inside and outside and then a nut. And then all the colors uh, have ring terminals on the end and they all just get uh, screwed together on each each nut there. Um, I'll obviously electrical tape it all so they can't touch. And, and then the gray cable there is the uh, ethernet cable which is coming up from downstairs and that's tied into that as well. And the other end has an ethernet connection that plugs into the apex. And it's the same thing on that side as well, except one light is missing from that bunch because that's the one that's wired incorrectly, and it messes with the the rest of them. They don't get bright. It's like sh it shorts out. Um, so I got to fix that, and then I will kind of put that big ball up in here, kind of up under the tank, so it's out of the way. It shouldn't get wet or nothing. You won't see it or nothing. Um, but yeah, that's my my weekend project, I think. It's going to take a lot of time to, to tidy this guy all up.